this they new scenario. Did they split? Did they drill? Hey, hey, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. Reaching my goals, I do not feel ashamed. I'm a dog, I'm a beast, and I cannot be tamed. I don't do it for fame, it's the love for the game. I go in like I'm trained. I'm prepared for the maze. I ain't break from the sticks and stones they threw. Anything that you can do, I can do it better than you. No matter what I do, a cheese still got something to prove. I spent the check on the diamond cross, but still ain't paid my dues. Number two never count. Used to have bubble guts competition now pouring them out. Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23. Won't fall again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart all on my sleeve. Yeah. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Come for the win, can't take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they splash? Did they drill? Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. She back at me. Hey boy, and it be so you gotta yeah. go berserk. Okay. Mm. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and wanna see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, huh. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. for the first time with Philip Lindsay and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down it's a gain of 10 well there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run and let's face it it shouldn't be a surprise he's one of the better backs in the league had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon almost able to intercept it that's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. gun it's Mahomes he'll get this to Philip Lindsay complete and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 15 yards on the play first down Kansas City So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. Three there, second down. On that first down pass play, now Check, 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 check. 
Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 37. 16 yards, a first down. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. First down, Chiefs. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside. And he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. On second down. It's Lindsay, and taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Second and two. First down marker at the five-yard line. Here's Lindsay. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your best. You give yourself your they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. First and goal at the one. They'll run it with Kamara. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Alvin Kamara with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Harrison Butker in a kickoff for Kansas City. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. And the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 26. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brings up second. As a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. On second and 12, Murray. 
And his throw is incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. And it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Escaping the pressure right. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. 6-0 our score after one. With the score, Chiefs 6. Cardinals nothing. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. They'll run. It's Drake. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Shotgun now for Murray. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. First well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. First down, Murray. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Chris Jones in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. He's watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you he did that very well you praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball took a great angle right there he'll get only a yard out of that and it'll bring up fourth down instead of throwing it downfield charles they just tried to dump it underneath there you like the call i do i think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. So the field goal that cuts the lead in half as they, too, were able to get some points on their initial drive of the game. Yeah, all in all, a pretty positive response, right, to the points that were scored against them, and they got a little help from their opponent anyway. Missed the conversion, so now they're just three back. At their own 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. A ball at the 24 and a second and 11. At the 24-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you can nick downfield. On that play, they run successful. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mahomes going to throw. Flushed out right. He'll find Lindsey here. 
And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Seven yards to pick up there. Complete to number 88. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The tackle made at the 24 yard That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards the pickup, first down. A four-yard pickup on the play. First down, Chiefs. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. On the carry. A gain of three, second down. At the 18-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. On second and seven, Mahomes. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, here's Lindsey. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Touchdown. Phillip Lindsey, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better, too, having that lead. Harrison Butker in a kickoff for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down, and it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops, and if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Throwing again on second down. Murray looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. So we've reached halftime here. Charles has already thrown off his headset. He's out here. He says, it's Christmas Day. I'm going home. We're not done yet, though. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They trail now 14 to three, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. It was Tyron Matthew, the honey badger there to knock it away. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's gonna make the play successful. That time there was very little and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. On the move to his left. 
Looking left sideline, incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target, and it's third down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Thirteen yards, the tally on the return there. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Their own 42-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Mahomes now on first down. Gets this one to Hill. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. He gets his first catch there, but all in all, when you're talking about the number one receiver in the NFL coming into this game, and we're just talking about the first catch there, I think they're doing a nice job of bottling him up. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second. Made at the he had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Shotgun snap and a give to Lindsay. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. At the 8-yard line. Try to pound it in, Kamara. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. This will be caught at about the five. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. touchdown Tyreek Hill with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. The now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Well, they'll turn to Kamara. Lindsey going to try and run it in. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. 22, Cardinals three. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 and the 24. At their own 24-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Throwing is Murray on third down. He'll set up the screen to Drake. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. 
Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They do go for it. It's Murray, flush to his right. That's to his running back, complete. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. On the ground, this is Kamara. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Alvin Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Complete to number two. Tyreek Hill with another touchdown. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Harrison Butker in a kickoff. Four so with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime, they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far... Just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Second down, Murray sets to throw. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. And 15. From the gun, Murray being chased out left. Going deep for Hopkins. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Murray staying put for now. They'll go for it on fourth down. Now here we go on fourth down with Murray. Open man, Smith Schuster. It's complete. The 30, 10, touchdown, Cardinals. Juju Smith Schuster, an 80 yard touchdown. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And the lead is down to 28-10. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. And a productive gain out to the 14 after starting at the 7. It's a gain of 7. It's a game of three receivers head out right, one to the left on second and three. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. Working from the gun, Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. And going deep for Hill. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his 25th touchdown. Tying him at Smith for the fifth most in one season. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. So he missed his first two, but this time it's good. And that'll extend the lead. Chiefs 35. Cardinals 10. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. On the handoff. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and six. To throw on second and six, Mahomes eluding the pressure right. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Yellow. Here it comes. Here it comes. You go tight. You got 43. You got tight right there. 15, 15. Check. 55 to Mike. Check. Easy, 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 easy. Now here's Mahomes. 
He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Alvin Kamara, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Butker now to add the extra point. Now these have been no picnic for him so far. He's missed two, but this one is good. Chiefs 42, Cardinals 10. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. Let's see what happens. Eight yards. On Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. 30-yard line. Murray now to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Murray's Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. That Rats, but he's got a first down there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Murray again. Escaping the pressure right. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And now it's second down. Throwing again, Murray. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And the return comes to a halt. Right at the 44-yard line. By the CD, this defense, man, <laughs> at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. A gain of 13 First play of the drive. Excellent run. Just sets up Washburn's repeat. Another first down. 
On first and ten, it's Lindsey. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets them back now for second down. Five-yard line. Another run by Lindsey. And he'll be taken down at the 34. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Jay lost two and it brings up four. It's a loss of two yards. Brings up fourth down. in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Read it well and it's picked. And now look at this. Big gain but a fumble. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And now he'll tuck it and run. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Third down. Throwing now is Mahomes. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Lindsey. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder, what's their motivation? Because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his
like Michael V in Atlanta when it's time to scramble. Nick full of water, call me Black Bridgewater. Lamar Jackson, how I throw them Ravens across the border. Hold up. You know I'm a touchdown with the sack. Run up the whole life and run it back on the play. Intercept the pack like a safety, you boy that shake play. <laughs> That's a flag on the play. Let's go. Touchdown, I just scored a whole bucket. bucket. I just dropped a bag on the tag. Spin the block around just like the hands on the clock. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a revenant. My energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a pair in a mess. To the best, if it ain't me, then you need you a confession. You a mess. Uh huh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was a leader, but that ain't a pair to me. Put dust on you, my cheetah, run up and I'm airing the scene. I feel just like Vegeta Prince and I'm an heir to the sea. I mean it for real. Touch the driver's sauce so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot on my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing. Mean I'm walking with some money, man, I mean a couple mil. <clears throat> I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil. And all this loose thing, the freshman ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And they always spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And they always spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. You like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. Heard they mad, they don't wanna bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, not you. Well, I hate to break a me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hustle. And there's no catch. I go and get the bag, and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down cue. I promise I didn't ask. So it's 444 in the car, my dash. I shake a big toy mall. You went first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'm gonna grow that cash to my money. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 